how you doing? It's another Tuesday and it's another Ride Home Review. This is Paul and I'm uh, going to talk about an inconvenient sequel. Truth to Power, Al, Al Gore's part two of his inconvenient truth documentary. And let's just say uh, this one um, is basically what's been happening in the 10 years since the original Inconvenient Truth came out when it comes to uh, talk about climate change and the effect on our planet in 2017. Uh, the things that I really liked about this, um, they went out beyond the presentation a little bit more. Um, to tell the whole story the cinematography especially in the environmental areas was was great um, Excellent job the editing in this was superb. They had a lot of different sources that they had woven together and the the audio and the video editing in this was top-notch um, and I really, like I mentioned, he, he went beyond just the presentation this time around and went more into his travels uh, around the world and his, Al Gore I'm talking about, and his talk, and I really liked that um, aspect to it. I thought that that was, uh, there was a lot of strong parts to that and, and showing um, how effects of the world, how uh, certain incidents in the world had effect on the movie timeline uh, and what it did in certain, certain aspects to move the story. Uh, so that was real positive. They did a really good job in weaving um, the narrative uh, of the time between what was said in 2006 till now and um, what I did not like uh, about the movie was I didn't there was a couple parts where they went back into his history I don't really think that was necessary uh, we've already established where he's from what he where he came from and such um, uh, some of the uh, I didn't think that there was enough emphasis on effects. Uh, I think there needed to be a little bit more of the science involved with it and um, more of the, I don't want to say shock value, but some more of the serious um, incidences and go into more of that. They did it a little bit, but I think that um, to move the story along to uh, into the renewable energy area, they glossed over some of the effects, but um, but there was a lot of but there wasn't doom and gloom. Um, there was a lot of negative aspects to it, but there's a lot of optimism throughout this movie, and that's what I appreciated. Uh, what to watch for? Um, the narrative, the 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 sub arc in the story uh, about the India um, issue and where they're coming from and what they need and how that was resolved as a sub arc sub story arc within the overarching story i thought that was really interesting and um very very timely so um all in all it's a pretty decent documentary it's not a shock documentary by any stretch of the means but it shows a lot of the success that has happened in al gore world uh since 2006 since he first put out Inconvenient Truth and started talking on that. So let me know what your thoughts are. Did you like the first one? What did you expect out of the second one? Uh, and so on. Uh, but as always, you can subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Uh, love to hear from you. Share this video with others. And also... Uh, I hope to talk to you more about this. Until next week, I'll see you later. Have a good one.